Hey guys, how you doing? Back with another episode of the Camaro Project. Today's episode is not gonna, it's not gonna be that exciting. It's only gonna be like exciting to me. And full disclosure, I'm sweating because I've already taken the door panel off on the left side uh, just to learn how to do it exactly. And I sweat very easily, so fudge off. Okay, so today we're gonna be reinstalling new door sweeps, these right here. As you can see, the ones I have are getting really old, really brittle, and they're just cracking and they don't look good and they're not sealing any kind of water at all. Also, while the door panels are off, I'm going to go ahead and sound deaden the door as best as I can, see if that has any effect at all. All right, guys, let's start this process and kind of follow along. It could save you a lot of time following how I do this. Let's just start with just taking the door panels off, right? All right, so to take the door panels off, you're gonna get a T27. I'm cheating with a power drill. You're just going to unscrew this T27 right here. Big, long bolt. And there are two, one here and one here. You just kind of have to reach up in here with the same boom and that just comes right off then you're going to get a t15 and you're going to remove you're going to remove these now the trick here is only four of these are real it's this one this one this one and this one and you should be able to tell because these are actual metal and they might be a little brown with age aka rust so let's start with this one get this one off loosen this that piece pops off like that. And then underneath here is the hidden screw, is this right here. And then you have two right here that hold your mirror adjuster on. And boom. And then now I should be able to pop this off. Loosen it at least. Get out of there. And I totally forgot two screws. There's one on this end over here. And there is one underneath it. Now, we can get this off and all that. We have to also, we have to get a flathead screwdriver, dig under here, and this is going to pop off. This is out one by one. Finagle that out. Finagle that out. There you go. Now we just have to get, now we just have to get this handle out. Boom, there we go. And now comes the fun part of prying all these tabs out and then finding out if my door panel has been taken off the proper way or taken off at all or taken off the improper way. My passenger side panel was either not taken off at all or taken off the proper way and I intend to take this off the proper way as well like I did that. You can tell because this will be attached to this still. I see a lot of videos where guys where they're this piece is not attached to this still, like the holes are, you'll see. And so if you're still here, you're gonna get two bonuses. Number one is some advice, buy this. This is on Amazon, these are little bags of clips. Yeah, there's 10 in each bag and it's like eight bucks on Amazon. So before you do this project, Amazon Prime this, I'll link it down below, because you're gonna break these tabs. I knew that, I ordered these before I started this, so yeah. And then number two, I'm gonna show you how to properly take an actually took taken care of door panel off of this car versus the ones where this just falls off and it's not attached to this, so let's go. We're gonna use the traditional plastic pry tool. These come in a kit of like with like three of them for like eight bucks. I'll link this down, these down below as well. These come in way handy. So all we're gonna do is just pop these tabs off per usual, bit by bit. Tab by tab. All right. And all my tabs are off and all my tabs off. Yeah, all my, so all my tabs are off and you can see this is still connected to this. And so I sat there with that door panel and tried to figure out how to get this thing off the proper way because I used to see in this just fall off. So I'm gonna show you a secret. And the secret is this. See this, it's not just gonna pull up easily, right? So what you have to do is take this, squeeze it in, and then pull it up. If I can do this and not look stupid on camera. There we go. See, that first part's loose now. We keep going along the line here. There's like three little tabs that you have to, there you go, that's out. And then one more. Boom, there we go. Nice and easy. Okay, so these are my door panels. I definitely got lucky in the fact that nobody ripped this off of here. So what you usually see is this and this and all this connecting cardboard up here ripped out to where this piece doesn't connect to this. 
I got lucky. Okay, so if you can see these little bolts like here, and then like right here, are what's holding this piece on that we're replacing. But if we keep going, we will see that they are now behind glass. This one and this one right here. So these bolts being behind glass are going to be one of our main obstacles, and the second one is gonna be this triangle thing there. And to get that off, we have to unscrew a few 10 millimeter things, and then this Phillips screwdriver, and then it should come out. At least that's what I saw on the internet. Okay, so one millimeter bolt came out nice and clean. Two. Here we come, Ratchet City. There we go. Yeah, there you punk whore. All right, and then I think we can just, maybe just move that over there, honestly. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try that. Let's just kind of move it instead of trying taking it out. The one video I saw, the guy like tried to pull this whole thing out and it took him forever. Um, but I can literally see every single one of these um, bolts now, except for the ones behind the window. All right, so we got our seven millimeter on and let's start taking some things out and try and not let them fall into the door. Here we go, get out of there. Second one's gonna be right here. Or first one, if you look at it numerically in order, it would be the first one. It is, yeah, got it out. And then the last one before the glass is this one right here. Try and do surgery on it while you're getting it out and make sure it comes out without falling into the door. Here we go, that is three successful. So now the secret to getting these bolts that are behind the glass is going to be, we're gonna take this bolt, loosen it with a 10 millimeter and this one with a 10 millimeter, can't speak right now apparently. And that's gonna allow us to push the glass this way so we have more space to get back in there with a little ratcheting wrench. I'll sort of help kind of ease the process a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and snip off the end of this that's already getting taken off anyways to kind of make the deinstall easier here. Just less stuff to work with. Boom. Okay, so first one from behind the glass, I'm gonna use this that's already here and then I'm gonna kind of slide my pry tool in here, which is gonna give me some separation here. Do you see that? And then now I can reach my little ratcheting wrench down in there. Maybe, maybe I'll just use the straight side. See if that works better. And then I can now slowly, but surely loosen these up. This is gonna be a slow process. Damn it. Well, might as well start on the other one. Let's try something else. Let's start taking this all the way off. How about that? Let's see if we can get the glass even farther back. Yeah, we're gonna take this off though too. There we go. Now let's see what kind of wiggle room we can get. Oh yeah, that's much better. I can get my fingers down in there now. Now I can literally fit this magnet right here behind the glass and catch this as it falls. So let's start taking this one off. We can get the ratchet on it. Nope, we're gonna have to go old fashioned. I feel like the even funner part's gonna be getting these back on somehow. I think the strategy is gonna be, yeah, I can just hand loosen it from here. There we go, get out of there, yes. See, score, got that one. And then there's one more right back here. Let's loosen it up, get it loosey goosey. And there's quite a bit of space now, so I can just literally, at the end, just untighten it with my hand and pull it out instead of it getting lost on there, come on. And boom, see? Got it out. I'm a surgeon. Uh, I'm making a video on how to uninstall and reinstall new these things. You wanna pull this out for the camera? So you just be winging shit and then teaching shit. Yeah. Actually, is this the first time you ever did this? Show them how crazy you are. Whoa, whoa, there's another bolt. Oh, I forgot, there's one more at the end there. You gotta take that one out. Okay, see, he got me doing some stuff that doesn't work. Some freaking stuff, dude. Uh, don't make me start cursing, you freaking animal. I don't wanna make, I don't wanna be a gosh darn animal right now, but you're making me freaking curse. Shoot you to heck. You're ticking me right off, bud. Look, I'm you're, I'm dumb ticked. You, you're I'm dumb ticked. You're I'm so freaking ticked at you right now. You're a douchey dumperton. Okay, you took it too far. You freaking. You lint licker. <laughs> see, we got one more right back in there, guys. 
Oh yeah, way back there. Oh yeah. Gluten free Gary said, Gluten get the last Gary. one. Make sure when you do this, do not engulf any marijuana noids. <laughs> now I just want to get some leverage here on it. There we go. I'm trying to get a good angle on this fucking. Your neighbors probably think you're a twag star. Dude, right? Yeah, I'm up at all hours of the night doing this shit. It's like three in the morning right now. Oh, come on, you sack of shit. And then now we can just kind of thumb screw this one out and we got it out. That's all of them out. All right, and I'm going to kind of dust off and wipe off all this in here just to get some of this dust and stuff off. All right, so this is my new window sweep. I'll link down below where I got it, but they're like 100 bucks for two, if that, maybe 60 bucks. I don't remember. It was pretty cheap. I'm just going to pull this window forward, get this set in there, like that, kind of match it up with that, and see if our holes line up. Ooh, holes line up almost perfectly. I forgot to take this little piece of foam off. Let's do that. We're also going to be installing these new outer door seals as well. And then I'm going to use some sound deadening stuff to kind of sound deaden the panels of the door. Okay, now that's in there, we need to take this off as well. This side of this uh, factory thing. Door seal, two screws, and that'll just come off. And then all the plugs will just come out. I'll get them all out real quick. Got it out. Almost every single clip stayed in though, so I gotta get my needle on those pliers and take all these out. And then this part should be pretty easy. We're just literally, we're literally just taking this, setting it on here. We're gonna put these old screws back in, which I'm gonna have to order replacements for these because these screws are all fucking worn to shit. And then we just snap these things in. All right, so door's pretty much done. Now we have to raise this thing back up. Conveniently, we didn't have to take it out, which worked just fine. Let's get these big screws. Now we're gonna put some uh, Dynamat stuff, Noiko or whatever the whatever brand I have here. We're gonna put some of that in here on the inside of the door here to kind of reduce vibrations and whatnot. And then we'll put a little bit on the on out here that's gonna cut down our rattling. All right, I'm cutting one thin long strip like that. And this brand right here is Silas. I have a few different brands of this stuff. And I'm just gonna slip this in as far as I can. I can get it in, I can get it in pretty far there. Just get one strip along the whole bottom of the door here. Let's peel this backing tape off. Take our little roller tool. Then I'm gonna cut an even thinner strip. And this will be for and this will be for just small parts of the door here. You only need about 20% coverage with this stuff to do any good. I'm so tired and frustrated right now from this job. It also doesn't have to look pretty. Nobody's ever gonna see this again. I don't plan on selling this car. One more right here. And again, it doesn't look super neat, but nobody's ever gonna see this again and it's gonna be effective. I'm gonna throw this, I'm gonna throw this one last piece in the back corner here, just for shits and gigs, because there's have it here, might as well. Actually, let's cut it in half. All right, now let's throw the door panel back on and we're finished. Also, surprisingly, almost all of my little clips are still intact and good. So I only have to replace one of them right up here. So let's do that. Maybe. There we go, new clip. There we go, new clip installed. It's way brighter than the other ones. And let's throw this panel back on.
got to slip the door handle and this little silver lock in at the same time. Again, start with this center one. Let's do the end ones. Pop the old screw in there. Up top. Screw our big screw in. Here we go. And Jesus Christ, guys, we are done. Holy crap, that was a quite a project. All you have to do now is the same amount of work on the other side. And I'm not gonna film that, I'm just gonna do that on my own. But that shows you how to do one door. All right, guys, and this is the new seal. You probably remember what the old one looked like. It was all super duper cracked. This one is much, much nicer looking because it's new. <sighs> all right, guys, and that is it for this episode of the Camaro Project, the third gen Camaro Project, sorry. But everything I use in this video will be linked down below. Any suggestions you have from future videos, future projects on this car, let me know. If you're a car company, you want to reach out to me, beardreviews316 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Have a great day. Bye.